Hey Gemini, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love reading for the next 10 days for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a fit, leave the rest. Please do it, like, share, and subscribe on the channel. And if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, Gemini, let's take a look and see what your love messages are for the next 10 days. This is from the time you click on the video and 10 days going forward. All right, let's see. Love messages. Oh, you've got flirts. Somebody's going to be flirting with you, extending their lighthearted energy to you. Okay, like letting go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Gemini, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So I feel like somebody here, very passionate about you, letting things just flow. Okay. Um, definitely a lot of flirtatiousness energy. Flirtatiousness. Uh, coming through from this person let's take a look and see what the love messages are here so somebody's definitely gonna be flirting with you Gemini let's see okay so this is someone who is single they have a lot of money they might be traveling from far away okay uh, coming out of their comfort zone and you know this person might have like uh, some control issues in the sense like not trying to control you but they are just rigid it feels like a very rigid energy and for this person to let go and start flirting um, I feel like they may be someone who's very closed off they they're just maybe even shy they might be a person who is very shy um, this might be somebody you work with okay they may have given you the impression that they weren't interested um, if you know who they are or if you've seen or you know this person it feels to me like they just were kind of fronting had their poker face on <laughs> oh my gosh Jimmy at the ace of cups so yeah this person's definitely coming in there's definitely love happening here there's a spark of love okay the emperor so you could be connecting with an aries this could be your boss for some of you <laughs> um this could be i mean it's the emperor comes across as someone who is like high ranking Okay, could be a police officer, could be a military, they could be CEO of a company, something along those lines. This person's like well respected. Uh, they could be a father or father figure, um, or be very close to a father. Um, leadership. This is someone who sits in a position of leadership. Okay, um, and so they have to maintain a sense of control and order. But it feels to me like this person's going to break their. They're single. Feels like this person's going to break out of their rigidness and actually begin flirting with you in these next 10 days. Okay, male or female? Let's take a look here. Oh boy, two aces. Ace of swords here, definitely initiating. Oh, they're initiating. Oh, they're going to tell you some truths. And I feel like it's something along the lines like, I've been watching you, I'm really interested in you, but I couldn't say anything or I couldn't do anything because we work together and we're colleagues or something along those lines here, right? I just kind of, this person, they have the Seven of Cups, so they were kind of they're definitely fantasizing about you for quite some time, thinking about, have been thinking about coming towards you for quite some time. Oh boy, really opening up to you. For some of you, this could be somebody the truth is coming out. This person is having a, a huge wake-up call about you and about <laughs> you're, I just heard you, you're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Do, 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 honey. So, yep, judgment. The Scorpion energy. Well, so Aries, Scorpio and Aries, uh, Mars, not Aries. Okay, so let's see. Could be a Virgo. Let's see. This person's pretty wealthy. Or they have, like, a good amount of money. Um okay yep coming in with a solid offer it's been taking some time they're going to start flirting you notice somebody that i'm describing here starts flirting with you what's it's not just casual flirting it's not just casual like what's we it's like deep passion this person's very passionate about you okay have the star it's aquarian energy for some so coming out into the public or this person sits in the public public eye they may be fairly well known Okay, locally, globally, whatever it might be. And <clears throat> this person's really hoping that you're going to accept anything that they bring towards you. So when I say a solid offer, they may flirt and then come forward and ask you, like come out in the open and ask you if you want to have drinks or have dinner or go get some coffee um, or something along those lines. They may give you like a trinket or a gift, pay you for, or um, 
you might get like a paycheck or some money from them and they put maybe a heart or um, something personal in in with that to let you know that might be the way they're flirting i feel like this person okay their name could have started could start with a w um or there might be a, so the name could have a w or an m in it is how i feel i feel like this person's been watching you and really curious and wondering about you wondering who you are what you're all about what your situation is let's take a look here i want to clarify the emperor Okay. Well, the emperor and the empress, it's a match. This person sees you as their one and only in their match. Oh my goodness. They definitely, look, they definitely see you as someone who like fits the bill, fits them perfectly. Okay. If you're a female, they look at you as if like you are just like you could be a good parent or you're someone who's like full of abundance, gorgeous, beautiful, so attractive. That's how they look at you. Um, and if if this is a male um this person or if you, so the male comes across as being very uh like i said respected someone who's in leadership i feel like partnership in a company could be coming up here sidekick power couple that kind of energy let's take a look at judgment here okay hmm Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, so uh, it feels to me like this person. Um, oh, they, they're very greedy about you. Um, and I just heard they want to try to help support you financially in some way. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, if you, I feel like it's, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a, a boss kind of thing. Okay, feels like a boss kind of thing. Or they may tell, like there might be something you know about them that they've been supporting an ex or someone financially or uh, who's very greedy as well. But it feels to me like this person, you know, they, it feels like they make more money than you or they have more, uh, more assets or they just have more uh, better financial position that they're in than you are. And it feels like they want to, they want to make you their, their spouse. <laughs> they want to make you their spouse. They want you to be married to them. Let's see. Show me the star. Okay. Yeah. This person, page of swords, very hopeful. They're going to communicate with you that they see you as a star or they, they see you as someone I mean, they're very curious about you. Very. They want to know what your situation is. Um, it feels like um, they've been watching you, spying on you. Uh, there might have been some gossip, and they're trying to get to the truth to find out like what's true and what's not. Maybe if you broke up with someone or you ended something with someone. This feels like a sugar daddy, sugar mama situation. I'm not going to lie. For some. <laughs> And I'm just showing you, like, you don't have to post in my comments to say, I don't want that. Well, that's fine. If you don't want it, then you don't want it. I'm just trying to tell you what I see coming in here for you. Let me see. What are the love messages? Okay, balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Oh, this is that per. This is them. This person is like head over heels for you, Gemini. You're going to be receiving a lot of gifts. They're going to be like trying to give you like at some point this person is an over giver once they're with somebody like the over giver protected you are safe and divinely guided that's good okay uh i feel like this person does want to come in and like protect you <laughs> be like your your protector take care of you okay longings this person is secretly uh yearning for you they're longing for you oh my gosh you have like a stalker, Gemini. You have a stalker. Let's get your, see what the moon pie cards are here. Okay, reevaluating career. Okay. Hmm. Some of you might already know, you might feel uncomfortable with this. That's what they're trying to tell me. Um, if it's a boss or somebody you work with, you might feel very uncomfortable and you might be reevaluating if you should still work here. 
Some of you might just be like, no, 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 no. This is not good. This is, I don't feel comfortable with this. You might not be interested in them, Gemini. Let's see. Okay, justice is served. Remember that thing you were sweating over? Yeah, well, that's ending. You're in a good place now because the verdict is delivered in favor of you. The truth prevails. Hmm, what does that mean? For some of you, there's some type of a justice situation here coming in. Libra and energy. Things balance out. You get what you need or what you want. I feel coming in here. Some of you may have a thing for this person. Maybe you are interested in them, but you weren't sure how they felt about you. Okay. Um, some of you may be re like get together with this person and you may not need to work there anymore or work anymore. You can do something different because as I said, I feel like this person may be coming in wants to financially support you as well. Okay. A lusty, fiery spirit. Yeah. This person's very passionate. I mean, you are it for them, Gemini. You are it for this person. Holy moly. Oh, let me get one monology card here and see what your message is here. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. That's you, mutable. Um, so if you have uh, Virgo Taurus, no, uh, Virgo Pisces, Gemini, or Sagittarius moon, that's specifically for you. That could just be, so this whole situation feels like it's new. It's just coming out of the blue. Um, there's nothing being confirmed in the next 10 days. Um, but it's just like, a lot of you, I just feel like, what? I just, I'm picking up that what energy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a charm. Okay, you got a turtle and the pliers. Okay. Turtle, turtle, turtle. No, wait, is this a turtle or is this a sea turtle? No, that's a regular little turtle. Hmm, maybe you work for a company that has something to do with turtles or the name I don't the name turtle seems to be significant for somebody it could be a nickname um, could just represent you know um, slow and steady wins the race for some of you okay there might I feel like you're also being called to have a lot of patience right now a lot of patience because things are coming up feels like out of the blue just kind of like a change there's like new, two new starts here, two new beginnings happening here with these aces. These are potentials. That's why it can't be confirmed yet, but it, they're potentials. And then this pliers here. Hmm. Maybe you're working on crafts. So you're working with pliers at this time. Um, what do you do with pliers? I don't know. You like bend stuff or I don't really know, twist things. Um, a lot of twists and turns could be connected to this. Maybe you're just working with pliers right now. And the name plier 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 hmm i'm not picking anything up with, with that as well it also okay got a crab here so it could be a cancer this person could be a cancer for some of you but i feel like this person has kind of a hard shell but it's real soft and gooey in the middle and um, they present as being very rigid and hard that's why i kind of feel like this might take you by surprise this person coming forward or in this energy but i feel like this person you know once they get their claws in like they don't let go they're little pincher pinchery things once it like they hold on tight so this is somebody who will come in and express to you how they feel but there is a little bit of a stalker energy here so yeah you might want to like this this might kind of feel like an oj situation here because i believe oj was a cancer that kind of like I'm not seeing anything dangerous here, so it's not to that extent, but it just kind of feels like uh, someone's just really like a secret admirer here and really like can't stop thinking about you and really wants to be with you and make something happen here with you. So Gemini, I mean, be careful with your flirtations, I guess, if you're not interested or you pick up anything strange with this person. I don't feel like you're in danger. I don't feel that way. I just feel like their energy, somebody's definitely hot to trap for you. And they're going to be coming in the next 10 days. All right, Gemini, that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe there on the video. And, or is it over there? Love you guys. I will see you in 10 days. Take care.